Ladies and gentlemen, in 2021, we've definitely seen an increase in volcano activity. And over the last few weeks, we've seen an increase in earthquake activity. We had a 6.9 earthquake hit Alaska, and now we've had a 7.2 earthquake strike Haiti. And there have been reports of damage and fatalities following the quake. It was only six miles deep, so it is pretty shallow and there is a tsunami threat for the island of Haiti, anywhere between one and three meters. And three meters is almost 10 feet. So we've got problems coming up for Haiti. And then we have a storm, Fred, that's probably going to pass through there and bring them some more rain. And then you have Grace behind it. And so, you know, we were looking out that August was going to be a brutal month for the coronavirus raging, wildfires, hurricanes and storms, and earthquakes and volcanoes now. So everybody definitely be ready for another wild middle half of August. And we have our super danger zone lookout period from the 20th to the 27th. And yes, please send prayers for people in the towns of Les Cayes, Jemechel, and Jeremy. And then if you can, for my friend Mike. A lot of people are struggling with a lot of things right now. And so, there's never been a better time for human beings to team up and work together. But it would take a great miracle for that to happen. Haiti is right here. and I mean, this is about where the earthquake struck. You've got Fred, who's moved past into Hispaniola here and will affect Florida in the next few days. And then you've got Grace, who's looking pretty stout. And then you've got more waves moving off Africa. And the models continue to do very interesting things with Grace. Right now, Grace is an official tropical storm. Models have it hitting Florida. And then up the coast, uh, this is just one GFS run, but it has, you know, in that date we're watching the 20th to the 27th, it shows Grace becoming a hurricane and then striking Florida almost near the same path that Fred took, although t Fred got torn to shreds. So this would be boom on the 20th, hurricane into the tip of Florida, stays hurricane strength. As it moves up the coast, and then becomes a tropical storm again somewhere around Virginia. No matter what happens, it looks like Florida and the east, southeast coast will be getting a whole lot of rain, possible flooding over the next seven days. And then Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico are still in monsoon season and getting hit with some pretty hard storms. You've got the tip of Florida under flood watch as well. Coronavirus continues to escalate florida reports 25,000 new coronavirus cases the biggest one day increase on record and 209 new deaths in a single day and we've gone from 14,000 people in the united states in the hospital due to the coronavirus to 81,000 people in the hospital now in six weeks that's a pretty steep jump and it has not peaked out yet you know anywhere any hospitalizations between 60 to 90,000 were the were the overall guess from everybody. Nobody said it could be a cat 5 plague wave. But if we go over 90,000 in the hospital, then it's worse than anyone guessed. So I'm just letting you know that. Like I've been I've been the guy telling you that like this could be a category 5 plague wave because viruses and plagues are weird, especially if it came out of a lab somewhere in China. You got to definitely be playing defense on it and being smart, man, if you want to. Anyway, I'm no longer in the mood to argue with people about whether or not the virus is real along political lines. We've been dealing with it for over a year and a half. Clearly, to everyone who's paying attention, it's real. You got the Perseid meteor shower always happening through, and asteroids and meteors always make everything a little more WTF-y. After having two sunspots yesterday, the sun is back to being spotless in solar minimum conditions, and I definitely don't like solar minimum conditions. Spotless. And then we had a C-class solar flare. Who needs sunspots on Friday, August 13th? 
Friday the 13th. A spotless region near the center of the solar disk unleashed a C1 class solar flare. So, and I think that looks kind of earth directed. And then we've still got the second biggest wildfire in California history. The Dixie fire still raging. Weather deck letting us know we've got a major hurricane churning away in the eastern Pacific. And her name is Linda. All right. And then Eric Webb is letting us know that the latest news for peak Atlantic hurricane season is downright ugly. Patterns like this with ridging over southeast Canada and troughs lurking near the Gulf Coast are usually associated with hurricane landfalls on the U.S. coast. So, uh, although, I mean, Atmospheric Defense Team has done an incredible job, I'm going to hope that they continue to do an incredible job with the Prayer Warriors and Asteroid Fight Club and that we don't get hit by any hurricanes or major hurricanes. But please prepare for the worst and pray for the best. Flood seasons continue to hit people super hard. One woman and two people died and were missing after torrential rains touched off a landslide and engulfed at least two houses in western Japan with rivers overflowing their banks as rain continued to pound the area. Arizona continues with wild weather as 60,000 lightning strikes flashed across central Arizona yesterday, I believe, Friday. I just woke up. But yeah, Arizona has been seeing quite a bit of monsoonal storms, as has a lot of regions in the southwest volcano Nishoshima is doing its thing. Gazelle Arts reminding us the western Atlantic and especially the Gulf of Mexico are really warm. All right, so everybody get ready for a crazy and dangerous second half of August and all the wildness and wackiness and danger should peak around the 27th of August and then we'll have a downslope period until the 9th of October. Um... And so everybody be cool, keep a sense of humor, play defense, and I will talk to you guys and give you an update soon, because that is what I do. God bless everyone, everywhere, may the force be with us always, and let us live long and prosper together, yo.